for all the wrestling fans out here in Albuquerque. He's the savior. How couldn't you love somebody that gave everything? Tears, blood, gut, skin, hair, everything. Without Hobo Hank, wrestling here would be kind of empty. I cannot smell Hobo Hank. Maybe that's because of my allergies, though. He fights for all the people in Albuquerque. Right, Jack? Yeah. This is the first time I was ever in a Pro Wrestling Illustrated magazine. My name is Joe Singer. I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm a managing partner for Chili's, and I'm also Hobo Hank. My great-grandmother and great-grandfather raised me, and my great-grandmother was in a wheelchair. My great-grandfather had Alzheimer's. So uh, as a child, I had a lot of responsibilities. I was always cooking, cleaning. Wrestling became kind of my escape. It became kind of a, an obsession of mine. Well, tonight we have an event uh, planned here in Bosque Farms, and I'll be in the main event tonight against uh, my good friend Thunder. I think you're going to see a great match from two guys that have been in the business a long time. Okay, I think we're all set. Let's go. I've wrestled over 500 matches. Um, only twice have I ever been rushed to the emergency room following a match. A lot of sprains, a lot of bruises, bumps, and cuts, but uh, for the most part, I've been very fortunate. Yeah, I hope you guys find this place as interesting as I do. Here's the building that we were able to secure. And literally the only place we could find to run wrestling here today. Yeah, yeah. Now, Hobo's done everything from finding the, the facility that we're going to be in to, to basically arranging all the, the talent for this specific show. He's very, very uh, important to us. Not having a whole lot is something that, that goes with part of the life here. I mean, like you look around, there's homeless people a lot of places. People are always down and out. When people see that and they can relate, it's not like this super huge chiseled guy out in the middle of the ring that's totally unrelatable. This is what I wanted to sell, like, oh, like Star Wars-ish. Like. Now it's time. Doors are about to open pretty quick, so I'm gonna make the transformation to Hobo Hank. Time to get in character. Oh wait, we do. Oh wait. Yeah. <laughs> Wrestlers are dorks. That's the fucking theme of the movie. So tonight, you're gonna see it all. You're gonna see two rivals go face to face, head to head. It's gonna be violent. Hobo Hank versus Thunder and Matthew Robles. What's ahead of us is me putting you out for good. And I brought someone here who is going to defeat, nope, he's gonna fuck Hobo up. Is that good? There are no rules. The only rule is that I win. We'll see you there. All right, guys, y'all hear me? What's up? Appreciate you guys driving all the way in and got a stack of pizzas. That's for you guys. Dig in, help yourself. Um, and I appreciate everything y'all do, man. Let's have a good show tonight. Yeah. All right. don't, expect, don't expect pizza every time. All right, let's crack uh, the doors. They want, they want, they Woo! Want,
He's from here and he, you know, he reps us, he wrestles for us. That's what we do here! Did you see that? Hobo Hank, it's time to get that W. I think of Hobo Hank as just the common man. Birthday, how old are you? 10, I'm 11. He's always gonna be the perpetual underdog and he's always gonna have the sympathy of the crowd, which I think is the, the driving force between what makes people really love Hobo Hank. Well, everybody, thanks one more time for coming out tonight. We had a hell of a show here and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Here's Hobo Hank signing off. Yeah, sure, I can play you guys a song if you want. Bye.